You guys, we love Athletic Greens. Athletic Greens is 75 high-quality vitamins, minerals, whole food source superfoods, probiotics, and adaptogens to help you start your day right. And to make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash Tuesday. Again, that's athleticgreens.com slash Tuesday to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance. Whether you're starting small or scaling up, ShipStation makes ship happen. Ship more and grow more with ShipStation. Go to ShipStation.com today and sign up with promo code Trash Tuesday for a free 60-day trial. Start today and get set up before the biggest shipping season of the year. That's two months free. Visit ShipStation.com. Click the microphone at the top and type in code Trash Tuesday. We spend a lot of time in our beds, okay? Whether it's watching horrific news days, if it's... Anime. Anime, uh, if it's uh, videos... your boyfriend make you squirt yeah even if it's your boyfriend doing everything in bed as well as out of bed <laughs> that's why it's important to make sure you've got the best mattress and that mattress is helix if you're nervous about buying a mattress online don't be helix sleep has over 12,000 five-star reviews for a reason their two-minute sleep quiz matches you with a mattress that's a perfect fit plus you have a hundred nights to try it out risk-free Helix is offering up to $200 off all mattress orders and two free pillows for our listeners at helixsleep.com slash trash Tuesday. Hi, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I know I did. Um, I just want to let you know I'm doing stand-up. I'm coming to Phoenix, San Francisco, Seattle, and Portland. You can get tickets at estheronice.com and my solo podcast, My Pleasure, drops every Thursday morning. Can't wait for you guys to see what it's like <laughs> you guys the time is here my favorite most exciting date uh caluso uh casino come gamble and party with me you know i love to gamble that is on september 30th one night only then next month you can see me in kansas city um irvine and then i'm gonna hold a bunch of other places go to annie letterman.com slash shows You guys, we are very excited to finally have this guest on our show. She is from one of our favorite, I'll call it a sister podcast, Girls Gotta Eat. Welcome, Ashley Hesseltine. Did I say your last name right? It's Hesseltine, but Hesseltine. it's fine. Okay. The teen and the tine of it all is very... Yeah, <laughs> like Valentine. You can relate, Lederman, Letterman. I know, and I'm such a natural leader that people always think it's Lederman, but it's Letterman. And then your na last name's a night. Mayor. I don't know why I was going to just, I was going to, it's a night. I don't know why I thought that would be a I don't think anyone in this room has gotten my last name right, not once. Kuhn? Oh, thank you, Carlo. Oh, it's so disgusting. Wait, I that didn't even disgusting. know that. I don't want it to be yeah, I don't think anyone it does. Right. It's Kuhn, not Kuhn. Yeah, it's Kuhn. I guess that, oh. that's okay. racial slur as yeah. I know, I was going to say way <laughs> less racist. <laughs> I don't know. Is it racist if you don't even know it's a fucking slur? Who is it against? Raccoons? No, don't do it, Esther. <laughs> Are we going to start doing oh. the origin story of slurs? For no, that's no, actually no, not, not a bad app. That's maybe Patreon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Paywall. Um, but Ashley, welcome thank you. to Trash Tuesday. We're very excited to have so you. glad to be here. Um, yes, thank, you. thank you. I was listening to your show and I, so you're like a reader. You're like a big <laughs> reader. Surprising. I am a, uh, yeah, I'm great at reading and I read a lot. That's so rude to say. You obviously don't watch the show. That's so mean to be like, I'm a great reader. Are you guys, are you all bad readers? I'm literally unable to read. And can't <laughs> pretty sad. The ad reads are pretty difficult. <laughs> well, my co-host is not like... We had this joke that one time she read something so good and I genuinely said, Raina, great job reading. And like our audience loved it. And they started saying like, great job reading. That's like, this thing. like she, we, it's, it's a thing. She's open about it. Like yeah. I'm a, I'm an exceptional reader. I'm so sorry if this. That's is okay. No, I want you to shine. No, but uh, <laughs> yourself for me. she knows that she's not. So even like when we do live shows on stage, like when we have to read something, she's like, "This is really long. I have to let Ashley handle this." Yeah. You know, I'm the Ashley. I mean, I'm the I'm I'm not the, the Ashley. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the Raina. <gasps> Um, but, but I do read a lot of like, I've started just reading more books. I love like the fiction. way you talk about books because you sound like an addict, but for books, because you're like, whenever someone posts a photo, I buy it right away. Like you just, you had like the energy that I bring to like 
different flavored breakfast cereals yeah. but, like, for <laughs> books. And I was like, wow, could, it could be that way. Huh? It's It's been, uh, I've been reading more recently, but I, I grew up like a big book kid. My mom was a librarian. Like it's Aww. just like big book energy. I don't know. Did like, you get a lot of like book fair toys? Were you always getting yeah. a lot of like eraser shaped like ice cream and stuff? Yeah. I mean, I saw this meme recently that was like, do you remember the Scholastic Book Fair? And they named all the things you could get there. And they made mention of the Lamborghini poster. Do you remember there would be like random uh-huh. posters? Yep. Did you guys have that? I didn't grow up here. Oh, I so was obsessed. I, I, was I obs- had it. The book fair was- What are they? Was like, was, for someone who doesn't read, the book fair was life. It was lit. Okay. So I like, but fair? I was one of- Do you remember the books though that had like- Wait, let's explain it to Kalila oh. first. So the Scholastic Book Fair is when like you go to school one day uh-huh. and the gym is all set up like a huge bookstore. And oh, we had that in the Philippines. And Esther yeah. was like, and this is incredible. Well, yeah, I don't yeah, have yeah, to yeah. work out. <laughs> <laughs> and you could buy little things here and there. Yeah, little okay, yes, stickers. Yes, I remember. It was so much but fun. then and then they would award that week they would award the bookworm of the year which was always my sister well, they yeah. had that well this is like a really deep cut did you guys have pizza hut reading club or whatever i was i had pizza well, i don't know where you grew up like i live, grew up in the east coast but yeah like you had this thing and if you read a certain amount of books you would go get a personal pan pizza at pizza oh hut. my god oh, that's so cute. how it exciting was, and that was back when pizza hut had the salad bar like it was like a night out were you doing salad bar though as a kid? No. Were you that kid? I also feel like I, I grew up in like the Wendy's salad bar. Age. Oh, I loved it. Do you remember? Wait, do you remember when they was the, the bread, the garlic bread, and it was just the, it was the bun sliced in half, and it was everything <laughs> yes. I've ever wanted in my life. Yes, they had it's like a so pasta. Good. Like people don't know. Where are you from on the East Coast? I'm from Delaware. Delaware, okay. This okay. sort of lines Delaware, up with this theory Delaware. that my dad taught me when I was younger. He said Wendy. that people get s- smarter as you go east. Like everyone on the west coast is dumber, and then they get smarter and smarter, and then the smartest people are on the east coast. So <laughs> that would make that would track the best readers. Are I live on the east coast. Annie, I grew up on the east coast. you you don't help the theory. <laughs> <laughs> but then That's also, but then like far, like west, like. San Francisco, like all those nerds. Yeah, those nerds. You know? Yeah. Look, it's just- I get what you mean. Look, it's just the spirit of it. Also, it's weird you guys brought up Pizza Hut because I, of course, just Uh saw TikTok about how kale, the biggest purchaser of kale was originally Pizza Hut and it was decoration for the salad bar. Yeah. And then some lady was like, I'm a fan of kale and she like rebranded kale so all us idiots would eat it. That makes sense because kale holds well, it doesn't wilt. It was just literally like golden corral yes, decor. Look at like it. it's yeah. wild yes. to remember. I remember. Looks like the the rolling hills of a I'm so inspired by this <laughs> rebrand. I'm like if kale can go from like the Pizza Hut golden corral garbage decoration like and then become like the health trend food. Like what? Mm-hmm. Well, what, it's like what lobster. Like, well, it's like lobster. Yeah. Lobsters were the bottom feeders. Right. They were like they gave them to the prisoners and stuff. And now it's like one of the most expensive items. Well, Definitely. lobsters are also um, th- their their season. I think is coming to an end. I you know I gather lobster. You October murder. Seconds, you're yeah. making them go extinct. Is that what well? You're- every year I gather lobster from the ocean. I dive and I grab lobster. Right, but then. You forget Gilbert, this asshole, part. sent me this article about how lobsters actually not only are sentient, but they feel no, no, depression. No, 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 no. Uh, and so we if don't you, talk about this in front when of you when they lose like a part of their, let's say, for instance, oh, because they bond for life. And they bond for life. Yeah, you they, know, we've all heard them scream. It's like, look, you just don't pay attention to that part. And then you just dip them in butter. That's got to be a good life to just make other people happy. Right. You're depressed. What do you want? Put out well, misery. Everybody's looking for they, purpose. They're biologically um, immortal. So they don't die. You can. They cannot die unless someone actually kills them. Um, but they will live on forever. What? So it, we're kind of just like killing like relics, basically, or like ancestors <laughs> is how I see it. But wait, there's going to be an overpopulation because they would never die. We're helping the world. Uh, true. Don't take yeah. my lobster bit. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and also bring me some bitch. I'm reading that lobsters do seek out safe spaces when they're stressed, probably in the corner of the little thing. I just Kalila, do you coax that. them in? Do you go like, you go, I'll listen to your problems over here, little lobster. Oh my God. Oh, you're not feeling good today? I, I, come on over here. You can be any gender you want over here. And you just spear him to the spear. Gender. I don't spear him. I well, safe space. Hand. Hand. Do but I anyways. Well, I think about, they, that's the friends quote, right? Phoebe said they. Oh yeah. It's her lobster. lobster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they mate for life. 
That's why you got to kill them both at the same time. <laughs> it's like the notebook. <laughs> <laughs> Their life. Okay. I just have you guys like vegan or no, 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 no. I'm about my... to do all meat. I'm like, I'm, so, I'm, <laughs> no. I'm this close to believing that vegetables are poison. I listen to one podcast. Then I listen to another one and I'm like, it's making a lot of sense here, guys. Plants are killing us. Salad's scary and dangerous. I eat everything. My parents are, have been vegan for four years and I'm getting a little stressed out about it and okay. I need them to eat eggs. Um, what are what about you? I eat everything. I don't I I don't eat a lot of pork. I think that like oh, yeah, I, I just chose an around. animal to not eat, you know, and it's my least favorite. So I, I steer away from pork, but every I eat everything else and then my parents are pescatarian, mm -hmm. which is like totally manageable. When you were growing up they were like that or they It started like maybe when I went off to college yeah like a couple years back but they finally I, had the courage yeah because <laughs> we grew up eating like sloppy joes yeah you know you so. are a specific type of i think you might be the same type of trash i am <laughs> wait wait where are you from <laughs> philadelphia oh i'm from, i mean it's yeah so delaware close. is like a yeah, suburb yeah. of philly so it is i mean basically, i yeah. <laughs> basically yeah basically. uh so yeah they but it's it's fine like i just i don't know i couldn't do i couldn't give up like the dairy i think it's so, so difficult okay I, have like, you ever been married no. Okay. Do you have, ever like imagine a wedding? Do you have like a, do you think you're going to go classy or are you going to go like sloppy Joe's? <laughs> are you going to go like an in and out truck or like caviar? No, no <laughs> seated, like plated dinner. Yes. I think it's like some sort of buffet, but it's like really good food. Yeah. Like I could see like a taco bar or... I went to a wedding that was breakfast food. I oh, really? Yeah. Breakfast yeah. all day, That's what so a dream. Cute. Yeah, it was good. Cause I, I It's at six in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Wake up, bitches, it's yeah. time. <laughs> well, it was cheaper in the morning. <laughs> um, I I don't think, I've been to weddings that are really fancy that were like Steven Starr catered. Uh -huh. like, and it's just never good. Like you can't, yeah. banquet food is not, good well, for the masses that's just too much you can do it yeah. it's not gonna be good Wait, i have a yeah. question do people not ever do morning weddings is that not a thing? Maybe in, like another that would go along with one of the things i do want to do which is a pajama <laughs> theme wedding or a sleepover wedding oh my god this is a I to do a, I thought you wanted to do a lesbian themed <laughs> wedding where it was just you marrying a woman <laughs> <laughs> I think that'll have to be the second marriage. Um, I, what if we did like late weddings? I think a good idea is to do like a midnight wedding so then you don't have to invite at, like old, like you can just be like, all right, And guys, no kids. No, yes, no kids. Like no past their bedtime, like you're a bad parent really, if you bring your yeah. kid. Make, Make it, it really hard yes, for everyone yes. to get there. Yeah. It's on a weird island and there's only one ferry. Yeah. It's a rave wedding. I yes. like that. Or yeah, or even at 2 a.m. Then you basically eliminate the yeah. thought of people bringing their kids. Yeah, you have if to take Molly. You can't, be, you can't have yeah. your kids at a Molly wedding. Yeah, either caffeinated or mollied up. <laughs> you better be both. You so, better be both. I know that your main drug of choice <laughs> is books, but... <laughs> Wait, I've, I've gotten mis <laughs> misbranded. That's okay. Yeah. Do you have other vices? Like, I'm basically a newly a pothead, so I'm just curious if what your deal is if you do that. And me. she means pot, not a pod. She's not like just getting into podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> I really love yoga. No, um, I I mean, I, I drink and I stay up late and I'm on my phone too much and so I don't... I'm, I've just never done really great with with weed, like edibles specifically. Like I'll smoke a little weed here and there, but I feel like I'm off all other drugs because I'm terrified of fentanyl. Mm -hmm. mm. Right. No more powders. Like I, I just, I haven't done a ton of coke, but I've, I would be like, sure, if I'm in the mood and it's out, but I feel so scared. Yeah, it's like if they ask twice, I'm always like, I'm always like, no, I don't want to do coke. Like, you sure? I'm like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know. I don't have like a ton of of vices. I mean, it's so boring. But I just the thing that I'm always trying to work on is just like not being on my phone. Yeah, so everybody like what are you, in bed. Do you have any moves? Any well, moves? I I have been leaving my phone outside of my bedroom. It has helped. Has any? Um, have you ever missed anything where you're like, fuck, I missed something? Well, I like turn my ringer off at night. Oh, good. And then just just so they don't interrupt when you're candy crushing or whatever. You're doing. <laughs> yeah, or TikTok. Just on or TikTok. But I think it's helped. I think that like you when you're really trying to scroll right before bed, it's like lighting up your brain. And yeah. so it's like I'm not a also, neurologist, but it just yeah. isn't good. Your Wait, you're not a neurologist. In. Why I, are you here? <laughs> What's going on? I, I quit med school. Or even if it's the first thing you pick up. If first thing in the morning, so like my rule is always first 30 minutes yeah. as my eyes are cracking open, I will not look at my phone. I'll take my dogs out, do my yeah. thing, and then pick up my phone afterwards. It pisses people off because they're like, why, where were you? Why? No, it's really healthy. Yeah. 
Well, I need it. And also, think- the where were you's, I'm done with the where were you's. I have no more where were you's no. in my life. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. If you're, where was I? Go fuck yourself. I don't know. <laughs> right. Doing boundary. anything that's whatever right. I wanted to be doing. You just right. have to say, like, boundaries and self care these days, and like, it's fine. I mean, you guys know you live in California, like, mm-hmm. right? Is that? That's our thing. No one can fight you on it. Yeah. You'd you be know. surprised. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so Esther sent me this thing yesterday um, about um, looking for the best, or it's a hack to look for the best Chinese food in your area, is to look for the Chinese restaurant that has specifically 3.5 stars. Not four stars, oh my God. not three stars, 3.5. <laughs> it sounds like a prank or like a joke, no, but then the true. way he explains it, you're like, wait, this is mathematical, like are, brilliant. Well, are we watching it? Easiest way to find authentic Chinese food, assuming you're living in a major metropolitan area, is to go on Yelp and look for restaurants with three and a half stars, exactly three three and a half, not three, not four, three and a half stars is the sweet spot for authentic Chinese food. P.F. Chang's, two and a half stars, bad, obviously, obviously bad. <laughs> Din Tai Fung, four stars, too many stars, too many white people like it, the service is too good. My it's favorite not as good restaurant, as it be. by the way. Dumplings here are better, I've been here. The waiters are not going to pay attention to you. They're going to be rude, but it's going to taste better. That's what I'm talking about. Three and a half stars. That orange 3.5. That's exactly what you want. Why is this the case? Here's my theory. Cultural expectations for service are different in Asia. It's not as proactive. They're not going to come up to you. They're not going to just proactively give you refills. You need to flag down the waiters. People on Yelp are insufferable. They're dinging all these restaurants. <laughs> the service is bad. However, the food balances it out. So you end up at three and a half stars. It's mm. the sweet spot. Uh, Trust me. Brilliant. Easiest Isn't way to that find out. Amazing. Can you look up this place in, in New York called New Moon? So this is like my order place, but I have no idea what, what the it's like the food is so good delivered. So now I'm just so curious. If it passes the test. I'm nervous, you guys. Oh, it's a 4.1. Oh, it's oh, a four. It's a four. Is, it, is the food really four good? So the food is so good, but I, I literally don't know where it is. I'm trying to get a vibe off this photo, but. Um, <laughs> it kind of looks like shit in the right way, you know? Right. If it yeah. makes you feel better, his example, Din Tai Fung for four stars is my favorite restaurant of all right. time. It is, and like, it is so for good. white people. That means I'm uh, dumb. I saw this meme the other day that said, having a restaurant reservation is so embarrassing. Like, hi, I'm here for my spaghetti appointment. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. So funny. Like, it when you think about stuff like that. That yeah. cuts me to my core. I'm oh, a res girl God. now because I've been burned too many times. Oh, for that. sure. Yeah. I've been burned. I, I, I did get to slip someone money once, though, and that felt good. Nice. I, I like also, slipping money. I also <laughs> have to say that ambiance I don't give a fuck about. Don't give a fuck about. Just the food. I wish that I was some like culturally special, smart person that like cared what the restaurant looked like. I just want the good food. A Same. view is fun though. Le- a view is fun. I like I a vibe. I like, I like I'm, a view. I'm big on like music. They just don't get it right sometimes. I but I'm like weird about music. and it's like I would have to agree with you on that. Like I, I don't know. Like I, I think that it's important. But then also like it's not like they're playing the hits at the Chinese place. They really do though. Thing. But they do. <laughs> yeah. But that's a pro- like if you go to any Asian restaurant, they always have the most nostalgic playlist. And you're like, I haven't heard this, but it's your, your mom's playlist. That that's is true. That's, that you is said true. that is actually so perfect because I went to a Japanese restaurant with Todd. And they were playing all this like Thai music that his mom always used to play. And Thai dance, can you look up Thai dancing? Maybe Laos ta- dancing. It's like, I can do this. I'm like, a dance I can do. <laughs> yeah, it's starting to get a little complicated. Never mind. <laughs> this, this, I'm telling you, the dances that you think they're easy, like the cuff it dance. I'm like, I could do that. And then I tried. It was like, I, it's not. Which one's the cuff it? The cuff, I tried over the weekend. I could do it. It's, Wait, what's that? Sh- it's do it. The, it's the do it. Beyonce cuff it song. Show it. It's the show it. Esther and it's will not. Learn. Esther has been able to teach. It's me very easy, Esther. You would, got it. It's well, there's so a, easy. People sometimes have problems with the body roll. Right. So it's basically it's this body roll when, when you roll. Yeah. You hit this. Oh, oh wow. Do the, this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's not that easy. Uh, that might be the only thing I can do. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys take athletic greens like every day, yeah. right? One scoop every single morning. I don't have to think about whether or not I'm going to get my vitamins and minerals throughout the day. It's one and done. I love the way it tastes. I don't start my day without it. I shake it up in the little shaker. I use my little matcha stirrer. Yeah, it's delicious. Cold water. It's so good. I just love that it's something that everyone universally agrees is like that one way to get everything that you need in in one fell swoop. 
And instead of having to do the math of how much do I need of this and that and buying a bunch of different things, you buy it all in one place yeah. with Athletic Greens. I mean, contrary to what people might think, I'm actually like not a great swallower. So <laughs> it's hard sometimes to have 10 million vitamins to choke down this throat. But I you cannot, okay? Were you having a moment? I was throwing up. And my thinking mom, about and me you swallowing. You said you're not swallowing. No, I... Um, I can't take pills either, so I need powders. And I'm so grateful Athletic Greens actually doesn't taste bad. Like it has a nice taste and it's so much easier. It just makes life easier is what it does. And with one delicious scoop of Athletic Greens, you're absorbing 75 high quality vitamins, minerals, whole food store superfoods, probiotics, and adaptogens to help start your day right. Basically you're investing in an all-in-one nutritional mm -hmm insurance and it's lifestyle friendly whether you eat keto paleo dairy free vegan it only contains less than one gram of sugar no gmos all of the nasty stuff yeah None and it costs that. less than three dollars a day so you're investing in your health and it's cheaper than your cold brew and right now it's time to reclaim your health and arm your immune system with convenient daily nutrition especially heading into the flu and cold season it's just one scoop in a cup of water every day that's it no need for a million different pills and supplements to look out for your health to make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash Tuesday. Again, that's athleticgreens.com slash Tuesday to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance. I have to say having an online business is both easy, fun, rewarding, really really hard and really like confusing and that's why ShipStation has been such an important part of that process because it simplifies yeah. it just takes that one thing and make that big hard task and makes it simple all in one place yep it just makes life a little easier. Where yeah. would we be without ShipStation? It's what we use here. It's what we use at Tiger Belly. It's hard as like my like merch business grows with the sunglasses, the socks, and the shirts. Uh, you can get them at AnnieLetterman.com uh, slash merch. But um, it is hard because you got to ship all these different things out. And ShipStation is very helpful and convenient. And yeah, and whether you're starting small or scaling up, ShipStation makes ship happen. No more limiting your business to one store. ShipStation integrates with every platform, including Amazon, Etsy, eBay, Shopify, making it really easy to manage all of your shipping from one simple dashboard. And you guys can go to ShipStation.com today and sign up with promo code Trash Tuesday for a free 60-day trial. Start today and get set up before the biggest shipping season of the year. That's two months free. Visit ShipStation.com, click the microphone at the top, and type in code Trash Tuesday. I've recently come across like an interaction um, in real time of how sugar babies ask to be sugar babied. I'm so and, intrigued by it. Um, so I have a friend who is like, you know, he does well for himself and whatnot. He meets a girl actually at a at a at a friend's party, but she was brought in as like a date of another. It was guy. a friend's themed party. She was Phoebe. They just happened to talk. They had and then they hooked up later that night and then they parted ways, exchanged numbers. But then the next day, she was like, S B, just S oh, hold on. S D mm. question mark. And he was like, like San Diego, Diego? like, yeah. is that where you're going to be, you know? And um, she was like, oh, no, like, you know, just so you know, like, this is usually like how it works, blah, blah, blah. And she was like, just wanted to know if you wanted to, you know, be my sugar daddy. Like, very direct, very polite, very bright. And I was like, wow, they're just outward. There's no trying to be coy about it. It's just SD. <laughs> Start dating mark. down is the this. I like that there's like code tale. language for it. Yeah, there is. I'm so on board. I could do a whole th seminar on dating down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have just, I just have years and years and years. I get dating fat. I can tell you. What is date dating up? up? I don't understand. I can't dating relate. It's such a weird thing. I guess the guys that I've dated could relate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to text Dave SD question. <laughs> <laughs> and then he's going to think he's like, suck dick. <laughs> sure. can, you, can you actually oh, text God. him SD right now? Yeah, let's see what he does. Oh, he's going to be so I think it's, he's probably going to say Diego, right? Like yeah. you guys are with these things, you want to do a day trip. 
Let's see. Would he, I have never in my life suggested a day trip. So let's. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that, I don't know you. I just <laughs> can't, she's canceled a few. <laughs> together for ten years. I've never. Let's okay. SD question mark. Can you guys sent. start this challenge with your listeners? Like, because I just. Yes. I think you'll get a lot of suck dick, which is funny. Yes. Wait, I just got a question text your mark. boyfriend. SD. You just got a question mark. Yeah. What should I say back? <laughs> Wait it out. <laughs> I'll just no put something in there so there's a three dots for like five minutes. <laughs> That's, that is cruel. He'll, that, it'll wait, get a response. Did he react to yours or he wrote a question? He mark? wrote question mark so, and then he just wrote, "What's that?" Look it up. You tell Daddy. me. Yeah, you, yeah. You tell me. You tell me. <laughs> yeah, you tell. me. I feel like you've already asked him this and he's already politely said no. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> many times, many, many, many times. <laughs> Wait, I, if he Googles it, what will happen? Let me see, SD. Wait, is it not polite to ask my ex to be my sugar daddy? <laughs> <laughs> if, you know, oh my God, do text Bobby. <laughs> do it. I'm going to text Bobby right now, SD. I think guys would be flattered by it. They'd be like, oh, you think I'm rich? He'd probably but be yeah. relieved that it wasn't sucked in. The only, the only guys <laughs> that are crying about gold diggers are the guys with no gold today. 100%. Like, that's it. Yeah. Guys who actually have gold, they're happy to yeah, it's flex weird. Yeah, that it's like part of them. Gold digging is not one way. You can't one way gold dig. That's, yeah. that's robbing someone. Yeah. I've, every once in a while, I'll get a DM of, and I, I mean, I don't think that they're like troll accounts, like real DMs from just random guys like can i be your sugar daddy but it's like you look so broke like this yeah. is no, I, I make more money than you like yeah, i got a lot of people that want to be my sugar baby but i have my own sugar baby your okay. sugar baby right i have an update from dave he said what's that i said lol i'm asking you to be my sugar daddy he said oh god and then he said can i just be your husband oh i'm right no, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird that you said once uh you said yes once and no for so many years after <laughs> i know it is true is like just is this like sexting for you guys? No, <laughs> i wish no i literally begged dave to marry me every day the first for five years and then once <laughs> he finally proposed to me now i have the power and i'm just like not, I won't marry him. Basically, Dave had his bachelor party five years ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You guys aren't married. No. Okay. I'm. I mean, marriage is fun. Or... Yeah. I, I also, I'm too lazy to plan a wedding. It's just like. When you're ready to have a wedding, you're going to be like excited. Yeah, exactly. You're in that 2 a.m. wedding. Yes. Yeah, uh, sleepover. When gonna... you get the right pajamas, <laughs> <laughs> you're going to be ready to roll. You're going to be the only one who like does not have hair and makeup at your wedding. <laughs> yes. That's the rule. Do you, you guys... take your hair and makeup off. <laughs> yeah. Do you watch The Bachelorette at all? Yes. Yes. yes, yes Did yes. you watch it last night? No, I didn't. I started watching it and I fell asleep. I'm okay with spoilers. This is going to come well, out for a while because. Well, it's not even spoilers. Because so everyone quit. It's a two-part finale. Yeah. So it's they didn't even give us really a finale. So there's a whole other week. Oh, okay. Week. So it was really anticlimactic. But it's just crazy. Both of these women are like begging these men to propose to them. Yes. And it's so wild because the men... I'm not being like I'm, you know, on the man's <laughs> side, but they seem logical and rational, right? Because they're like, I want to date you, I want to be with you, yeah. I'm sure about you, I'm in <laughs> love with I you, just... or I'm falling in love with you. I just don't want to propose after six weeks, and but then the girls have to like beg, and you just you're hearing the producers in their ear, like this is the show, the right. show has to end with the proposal. It's Who's, crazy, and Who's, it's interesting because I don't know if you saw with Gabby. Gabby's a a friend of the show. Love Gabby. Oh my Gabby's god, love my her, fucking love her. bitch. I went to follow her because so I watched funny. last season. I was like, she's hilarious. Yeah. So I went to follow her, and she was already following me. And I was like, <gasps> oh my god, that's yes, so good. bitch. I think she was girl code fan, but so so she um and now she's on Dancing with the Stars with Val as her partner, oh, who's our friend from we met Val. through Whitney Whitney I didn't Cummings. Even know that she was on. But so she said to the one guy she goes when the guy was going it's just like this just isn't realistic she went she actually went yeah i know can you just pretend for a second <laughs> like i think they're just like can we just have like a positive outcome because i like at this point it's like so many of the people get engaged they don't end up getting married they have a year of making yeah. a lot of money whatever doing, like, happens so. to just promise rings is neil lane is that it, the they've done it a couple times is there's he just not there's promise i think okay. that they need to like they're the original they need to set themselves apart. People want this proposal, but 
I feel like over time we've all realized how ridiculous it is. And so many dating shows that I love, like I loved Fuckboy Island and Too Hot to Handle, like they don't need to end in marriage because it's just so unrealistic. Yeah. yeah. So I, it just is sad to watch these girls look desperate for a proposal after six weeks or two months or however long they're on there. And the guys are come across so like – Hey, listen, I really like yeah. you. Yeah, I it's, wonder it's, how much production well, they are like cool. them to I kind of they, push for totally the is all over it. for the that's definitely proposal. what it is. Oh, and they I think, definitely do. That's well, so sad. Well, um, with um, what's the other girl's name? I forgot. Just for a second, Rachel. 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 She always says like when things are happening, she's always like, "I'm trying to do a good job as a bachelorette." So what I'm getting from that is like yes. they want like the outcome to look positive. Like they want to get the. It's a game show and they want to win the end of the yes. game show. And so I don't know how much of it is like this natural, like, they don't seem like desperate girls. Like, Gabby is the fucking shit. Yeah. Gabby oh, is for sure. Awesome. But they've been so brainwashed. I mean, the way that show is so wild, like, you don't have your phone or mm-hmm. books or TV. You're mm-hmm. just like in this crazy bubble. But um, Zach, who's like at the end. Yes. And they think he's going to be the next bachelor. There's no way Zach's the next bachelor. Like, I'm, I met I'm, him in Cancun and like. You met him? And oh, he like great. DM'd me late night and it he was, was like, like show, so S- He was like SD. He said SD. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, you want to suck my dick? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he wanted me to be a shark. You're like, guy. I actually have a dick on the top of my uh, ass crack right now. <laughs> I, actually <laughs> <have> a, <laughs> I actually have a pile of idle cyst. <laughs> Could you see it at the pool? Can you uh, suck the juice out of it? <laughs> Please? Nope. <laughs> so we did this. We had a show for JFL in Cancun, and we did it at the pool. It was like full blown MTV Spring Break, yes. and he was like one of the single guys in the pool. And we brought guys up on stage, and we brought like three guys up on stage, and then I did like a fuck Mary kill with all yeah. of them. And they we had him do stuff like I think he kind of like pulled my hair and like choked me a little, whatever. Like funny play stuff, and um, I chose him to fuck obviously like of the three guys and he's i think he's hotter than he looks on tv i think everybody is like that but um he was really hot and he was cool and then at one in the morning i like just taken off my makeup and he dm'd me hey it's fuck do you want to get a drink (laughs) that's funny that is funny and i it was nice i was like if you had the the pool was 3 p.m. Zach, like you had all this time, yeah, to hit me up. Like I would have been interested and in, get a drink where it's in the hotel bar. Like it's one o'clock yes. in the morning, so I was like, I just you know, it's it was also he the last the day of the trip. Seriously, that works for me sometimes. Though. It was I a cute opener. Yeah, I, I I I hooked up with one guy because he he begged me on that way out. He goes, I'm leaving. He goes, he goes, come on, let me just just sit on my face. I'm leaving and like. I in a day that. and I was like okay and then we had a really f- and then it was like he was leaving so I was like oh yeah <laughs> mm, sorry so yeah that was fun but I made him do too much ketamine <laughs> it didn't end up being too th- we had like a really intense like conversation about our lives <laughs> <laughs> we, we should we start ways. SF sit on face sit on face people are like San Francisco like, <laughs> <laughs> open for interpretation we're either going <laughs> up north or down south or sugar yeah. father sugar father sugar <laughs> father that's I if they're like 80 and above that's like we're not <laughs> like father <laughs> time you know? we're not fucking but you're yeah forever. right 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 that's like Hugh Hefner or like decrepit status yeah it's just enough to like go out to dinner and look pretty I'm right. glad you're you're saying that about him being like hotter in person too because Hugh Hefner the edits yes <laughs> Hugh Hefner gorgeous now have you seen him recently <laughs> Skip is aboard let's totally like zoom him um but because on the Bachelor and the Bachelorette people get weird edits they yeah. they do like you know crazy things or whatever and this season I don't know if you guys know it's like they don't usually have two Bachelorettes it's like right. Like they just pit and they're thank God these girls are fucking friends. A hundred percent. Because they just pit these bitches against each other. Completely different personalities, completely different looks. And then the guys got to kind of choose which one. It was just so like they took their power from them in a way. I think they handled it well, but it's like I can see where they're like, I want like these people. But but so like that guy, Zach. He was like really thought he was gonna marry. He was like ready to marry this girl. I think he yeah, I think he's just like, this is fine. Like I don't yeah, think he's so a real deep it. thinker. I think yeah. he's just like she's hot and she seems great and let's do it. What did you and see I, hometowns when his uncle is that like famous guy? Who's yeah, there? he was on Seinfeld. Yes, and no. he was um Does he play the Elaine's boss or something? Yes. Whatever. But anyway, that. that's so funny to like name drop your uncle and like who brings their uncle to the fucking hometowns? But um but yeah, so Anyway, so he like, he was like, she's being fake, she's being weird or whatever. It's like, yeah, because it is a weird thing. Yeah. Mm. But it's interesting how much people bring to the front of the camera, how much they get behind. He's he's a nice guy. He's like, 
I, I, I could see a world and he's definitely like the old school prototype of The Bachelor in terms of just like. He just seemed weak. I don't yeah. know. He seemed too weak. We've already had too many weak bachelors. No, I don't. I'm not really pushing for it. I don't know. I don't. I think I want him to do two now. I feel like it's only fair. I think the hottest to have them would. Choose, yes. To have, have them do two, two and have the women choose yes. between them. I think the hottest almost bachelor was on Rachel season. Um, Black Rachel. Mm -hmm. Mike um, Oh, never mind. He was on that. Um, his name was Peter. He had a little gap. Peter, yes, the doctor. Little, or something that was Peter is my was, number one. He was very Peter Krause. Yes. yes. So hot. No, I keep seeing him on He's Raya. So is yeah. he on Raya? He's on Raya. Should I get on Raya just for him? No, that's Pilot, Pilot Peter. Get no, him out Pilot of here. No, no, we don't was do Pilot Peter. Carlos, not Pilot Peter. Peter, Peter, Peter he was a weird problem. No, he no, was, I thought he was the hottest fuck. one too. He's a trainer. He's a yeah, trainer. Yeah, he's a trainer. That's what he is. Yeah. No, K-R-A-U-S-S-E is his last name. He's not The Bachelor. He was on The Bachelorette. Yeah, he was on The Bachelor. And he had the little gap too. Like right Yes. Yeah, it was hot. But we, their we breakup scene was so heartbreaking for me. It felt real. She cried her lashes off. It was, it, that was one of the most it was poignant so moments. Yeah. God, he's so great. He is cute. It's like a different kind of cute. But he's salt and pepper now, Esther. Yeah, this is like. Is that, that's his like uh, audition picture, but. Yeah, he's no, so No, he's so hot. I talk about him all the time. Love he kind of has like a hot mouth. Really hot mouth. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, mouths are maybe like my number one feature I look at. Like lips are so in, important. No, I have a serious have like question. like a skinny lip. This sounds like a lie. This sounds like a fake question. This is real. <laughs> when you saw It, the first new It here, with the scars guard as It, like did the you? The movie. Yes. The movie. And the juicy lips. Can you pull a picture of Well, why'd you them? assume I've seen it? I don't think I have. <laughs> well, just look at this picture. Okay, okay. Because all I thought through this whole fucking movie was like, I would love to get eaten out. Not that one. Not that <laughs> Annie, one. Not that the one. one. The new one. By that. Totally. Scary clown. Yeah, clowns don't scare me. They, this guy can get it. He well, can get it. And he has a little bit of a lazy eye. And for some reason, the lazy yeah. eye was hot. But... I'm telling you, I was just like, ooh, that's yeah. juicy. Like, yeah. th especially that angle, you're like looking down <laughs> on him. Like, yes. I picture him between my legs. Like, like that's my period on his nose. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'll get my red wings, bitch. <laughs> so hot. I think. <laughs> mm. But as regular Sklar's guard, I was like, eh. Wait, really? Like Jack Nicholson. Yeah, he's too, like, dainty. Pretty. I love all the Scars Guards. I saw Alexander Scars Guard twice. Me too. Um, like uh, we had we locked eyes at uh, a party one time for more than three seconds, um, and then at Oaks Cafe we locked eyes again, and I think he remembered me. And then my niece was like, "I swear to you, he like looked like really, really looked at you." And then he jumped into like a really beat up Nissan like Sentra or something and like that. And it turns out friend. it was just a homeless man. <laughs> it was just a homeless man. <laughs> Had good abs. Can you look up if he's dating anyone? We're yeah, it's a, I already celebrity. looked up. It's a German model, so it turns out I am not his type. And no, I, stop I with the type. Delusion. Stop with the type. But whoa, he's always like the the like wife abuser from Big Little Lies. Yes, right, yes, right, right. Or, and they yeah. killed him. But True Blood, he's so hot. True Blood, wait, was he hotter in person? Incredibly hot, Everybody's only because he seemed like a guy. Gorgeous. Everyone's hotter and shorter, I feel like. No, he wasn't yeah. short and Ooh, he was commanding ex. the room. Alexa Chung is his ex. And he was commanding the room. Kalila, you are. You're you, in. You can play. His, his new he's girlfriend six, is like four? a German supermodel. That gets so old so fast. Yeah. Mm. Come on. The girls, <laughs> they get too old. <laughs> <laughs> but Alexa Chung, I mean, she's just an icon. Yeah, so I was at a yeah, I was at a party with him and I was I was dating this guy who was like commitment phobic and like not wanting people to know we were dating. And he was like like a short, not that attractive guy. <laughs> and we went to meet with his friend and it was like we're dating, like we fucked before we went there. We go to this party and his friend kept trying to set me up with Alexander Skarsgård and it was just so funny. I just kept looking at him like, do you realize like other people think I should be with him? And you don't want to keep like a secret you're with me? So like, do you understand? <laughs> do you understand? A person who loves you thinks there's no way I'm fucking you <laughs> and wants me to fuck the model man. You fuck. Tarzan. <laughs> Wait, Tarzan. Ashley, I think you just brought up a really good point because I think he is not as hot to me since Big Little Lies because he's so evil and such a fuckhead that he wasn't hot. He made him not hot anymore. I know. Like, he, that's, that, he is that character. He did such a good job with it. Yeah, he's so talented that well, it worked. Watch The Northman. 
Okay. okay. It'll undo big oh, little lies it. for you. When yeah. You it, it was a lens. dark, dark movie. It's the same guy who did The Lighthouse with Willem Dafoe. Um, but um, yeah, super. F he looked like a fucking Viking in this one. All right, we're taking a Skarsgård card. Okay. Is Kalila gonna fuck Alexander? Oh, I love this. We don't know what any of them mean. Carlos has to look them up. Yeah, we never. Getting center of the pile. Okay. What is it? Six of Swords. It's a man that looks like Freddie Mercury dancing on a stripper pole. He's gay. That's a really He's good gay. sign. He's gay. Oh my God, we could be out of him. Yeah. Six what does that mean for dating? That or he has six penises. <gasps> ah! Enough for everyone in the room. <laughs> six inch sword. I'll take a six. Oh, a six is husband I'll dick six. all the way. It represents overcoming obstacles and moving forward. He's done with that bitch. He's ready for you. <laughs> He's Kalila. doing so much. You've overcome hardship, Kalila, and healing is headed your way. <laughs> Calmer waters are finally ahead. Well, He's my... very calm. He's going to beat you like Nicole Kidman, but other than that. Look. That is hard. I'll allow that it. kid that played Joffrey was like, everyone hates me. Poor kid, yeah. Or I just remember an actress having to come out and say like, hey, that's, I'm not that character yeah. guys like can we separate well that's what yeah. happened she was I mean, getting like i who was it was it on insecure i don't know she was like i'm um do you understand how like acting right. works like, what if i did that for show? the show where i played myself i'm like for this podcast <laughs> <laughs> i'm like that wasn't me they're like your character's name was esther and you wrote it <laughs> <laughs> no 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 <laughs> um yeah did i tell you guys that the guy who plays freddy krueger lives in um, Santa Fe, New Mexico, and I used to live there. Do we know the and guy he, who plays? I can't remember what his name is. Will you look it up? Robert England. Okay. So, and what he'll do is like, you can recognize him. Like, he does kind of look like Freddy Krueger. But so people, it, when he would be in line, people would be like whispering about Freddy Krueger and he would turn around and go, <laughs> Oh my God. Isn't that so funny? Yeah. He's the best. Look at him. He's the best. I have an update text from Dave. It says, I thought Still, no. I thought SD was the initials of a place you wanted to go for dinner tonight and I couldn't figure it out. Anyways. He had high Dave. hopes. <laughs> Everybody has to do this track and see what yeah. happens. Because I some guys will just take a different they'll take a different direction. Yeah. It's so cute. If you guys are watching, we please text this to your someone in your life and tag us and let us know what happens. <laughs> This Do is the guy called Mr. COVID. Steal Your Grandma. It's it's, has the hots for. Mr. Steal Your Grandma. Yeah, he's a math teacher in Houston at an elementary school, but he's gone viral as kind of like an older influencer. And I love these older influencers are I heard about this one grandma who's like cooking and she's blowing up. I kind of like this movement. Me too. Yeah, there's a company called, I think it's like OAS. They always have these types of models. Uh -huh. Old ass. <laughs> I Still think he's probably it. a model for them. I feel like my dad, not as like a model, but as like a kind of a funny character could do it, but it's like, I would have to do all the work. <laughs> I used to yeah. have this Instagram account that got pretty big called Fashion Dads, and it was like dads, people would submit pictures of their dads, and I, my dad was on it too, and I would write the captions in a fashion-y way, yeah. like the way the fashion influencers yeah. write it. It was like very That sounds so my But were they fashionable or just like dads? It was like dad fashion, like yeah. the New Balances. Yeah, you know, like, like Esther. My favorite. These are such dad shoes. I love these. No, oh, yeah, those are the dad, dad shoes of 2022. Oh. You guys, I have been sleeping on a Helix pillow for the last like three months. I love it so much. It's so good. Can I say something? Yes. Every person in my family has been gifted a Helix mattress. This is not an exaggeration. I mean, everybody. If it's someone's birthday, they've gotten a Helix mattress for me. Only because it's like, why wouldn't I share the joy of sleeping on the most comfortable mattress I've ever slept on? I mean, we spend eight hours out of our 24 of a day vertical on a, not vertical, hopefully not vertical, <laughs> horizontal on a bed. It's like, why wouldn't you choose the best thing? For your I body to lay on. have the Helix mattress in my guest bedroom and literally me and Dave fight. I'm like, we need to move it into our main room because it is so good. Carlos has slept on the Helix in the guest. Do you love it? It's yeah, back doesn't hurt. <laughs> I'm so happy that Helix is our sponsor only because like I am a legitimate fan. My favorite thing about Helix is their sleep quiz. So you fill out a quiz and it 
it basically prescribes you a mattress that is right for you based on how you sleep. So there's no guessing games. It's not like I have to learn some crazy system I don't understand. It's like, no, they ask you the right questions. You tell them and they know what mattress will just like make your life better. For example, I run a little bit hot when I sleep and I'm a side sleeper. So I got prescribed the midnight and I am obsessed. And Helix is awesome, but you don't need to take our word for it. Helix was awarded number one best overall mattress pick in 2021 by GQ and Wired Magazine. Everybody's unique and Helix knows that. So they have several different mattress models to choose from. They have soft, medium, and firm mattresses. Mattresses that are great for cooling you down if you sleep hot. Great for spinal alignment to prevent morning aches and pains. And even a Helix Plus mattress for plus size sleepers. Oh, and they have the option to go luxe. So you have the standard mattress, which is incredible, but then you have the option for an even like thicker mattress that is so wonderfully freaking lux. They call it lux. Do they have a licks option where you they can just sure punch? Do. You can just punch it. <laughs> <laughs> They also have a 10-year warranty and you get to try it out for 100 nights risk-free and they'll even pick it up for you if you don't love it, but you literally will. And I just like that there's really no risk involved in getting this mattress. He you guys, Helix is offering up to $200 off of all mattress orders and two free pillows for our listeners at helixsleep.com slash trash Tuesday. That's helixsleep.com slash trash Tuesday. My favorite um, TikTok account um, is one called Dad Advice from Bo. Mm -hmm. And it's just da this cute little dad giving advice on how to like um, change your light switch, how to do a car trade-in. Oh, is that the thing for oh boys God. that don't have dads? Is and that that one? I, for me, it really hits home because I um, I have, my dad has perished. So like tiny little things like that, it's so warm. I love when that. When you say perish, it makes it sound like he- uh, Was lost at sea, yeah. Or that <laughs> like the, like a wind blew and his ashes, he like- Well, yeah, I we threw his ashes in the wind. We were like, where's that, where's that going? And then, <laughs> But that's um, but that advice from Bo is this TikTok? No, but it's the same thing. Oh, okay. Where yeah, did yeah, yeah. you um, where did you spread his ashes? In the sea. Um, we he came. This is when my when my dad died. I was nineteen. Um, we didn't have a lot of money then, and they gave us an option. He wanted to be cremated, so we cremated him. But I don't know if you guys have see the tier of your options, your box options. Um, if you don't want to pay the extra $35, he basically comes in like a to-go box. <laughs> that's and that's exactly what he came in, is a to-go box. And so we were like... Did you have a little nibble? Um, I... <laughs> like bite? the bag that says, thank you for coming. <laughs> You're like, like is there Chinese, fentanyl yeah. on this? Is there fentanyl on this? No, it's really what they handed us. How many sets of silverware do you and, and they guilt you. They really guilt you because they're like, okay, so this is a $3,500 urn. But if you don't love him, you can also just take him in this plastic bag. Oh right? my gosh. And so, you know, we kind of like not look this guy in the eye. We're like, we'll just take that one. Mm -hmm, thank you. And then well, we left. Spread them. My ex-boyfriend yeah. had like a little, like I guess they split the dad's ashes. I don't know if they spread some of them, but he had like a little urn. I just kept like being like, is there a world where I'm accidentally yoni egging this bitch? Like, I mean, it was like yoni egg size. I was like, well. Can we oh, banana break you. as we move that was Um, so yeah. We were gonna do it anally, but we've heard well, what happened. So now we'll do oral. <laughs> I can't stick anything in my vaginal. mouth. Vaginal, what if it was like week? vaginal? We, we, I won our shows, we did a banana eating contest. It was wild. Was it hot? Like watch these girls just deep throat these bananas. <laughs> oh, like to see who does it the was best. Was it like yeah. on stars that already do that? Or? There were just girls in the audience. So. Oh, that's- I find oh, that yeah. on the live show. men's capacity for taking this down the hatch is far more, um, you know what I mean? Superior. Impressive than- yeah. yeah. Yeah, ours is like maybe to here. They can take this whole thing. Okay, so in my like hypnosis journey, there's one, there's hypnosis downloads is a place I go when I don't have my like personal hypnotist that made a specific thing for me and I need it. You can go in and you can like get different hypnosis uh, um, recordings for different things. And I was just scrolling through and they have one for gag reflex. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder who invented that. Asked you. <laughs> mm. Um, I do, to that I say, a gag reflex is what you need. Guys are into the whole sound of you 
choking. Choking. Rejecting yeah. your throat, rejecting up their on the penis. Cock. We've been here before. Also, I don't want to repeat stories, but we've all thrown up on it. And a gag spit before. is so much better of a lubricant than just regular saliva. So it's like they, I don't want to get rid of so the gag reflex. So can we like discuss this? Yes. So when we, we had Asa Akira on our show. I love her. She's a friend of mine. Okay. And I love her. I mean, we're going to be like, love she's her. a she, bitch. Like, oh, I mean, I love no, her. No, no. She like made me want to do porn. Like the way oh. she talks about getting into porn is so inspiring. She's brilliant. Like, it was really like find your passion and like do it for your career. And she was, we, I like was obsessed with her. I was mm-hmm. like attracted to her. She's like, I'm straight. I'm like, this is the straightest person. so embarrassing. But I just found her to be like so wonderful in every way. But she said her blowjob tip was that like deep gagging spit yeah, like, but this is like so gross but isn't that just like your like loogie spit yeah mm, I no say loogie it's like your gastrointestinal like your stomach acids okay because um, I, I was thinking of like phlegm i'm like are we we're not lubing up with like phlegm but phlegm that's like when it's combined with like nose juice right like to me a lo- that's like Speaking boogery language these days. like your <laughs> ear nose and throat would, yeah like well penises. Where you swallow is opposite from your trachea and your windpipe. Okay. So um, when you're swallowing, your trachea is closed. So if it cannot be phlegm because the phlegm would come from your lungs. Um, if your mouth is open and it's coming from that end, it's more likely to come from your stomach. So okay. it's a mixture of probably hydrochloric acid and a bunch of other stuff that you just ate getting kicked back up. Okay. Which makes it even grosser to me. 3.5 Chinese food. <laughs> but I'm so glad you brought up Asa. Oh, I think egg Asa, drop soup, baby. She's a perfect example of um, um, being hypersexual, being very business minded about it. Yeah. And just kind of doing it all right. And plus, she's so fucking funny and brilliant and can do anything. I just, I'm, I'm in love with her. Yeah. She's, it just was such an, I've never, I mean, I haven't, talk to a ton of porn stars but the way and i'm i know not everyone has the same experience but her experience was like pretty good and Mm -hmm. she was just like i like having sex it was like fun with an audience right decided we had the anal version of that on our show right we had stella berry on and And i was just like oh my goodness yeah really are it was a breath of fresh air weirdly the healthiest guest we've ever had yeah Yeah, it's fun to like learn about that. I know there's so many haters though about it, like so many sex worker haters, but we're just like, we don't care. We like sex workers. (laughs) And the people that hate sex workers also probably like sex workers. (laughs) It's like the mic. They just don't want them to like Like, it. They don't want them to be happy about it. Yeah. Like when you're homophobic, you're like, you're the gayest person. Yeah, you're the so gay. Well, that's what Stella says. It's like, like Mike Pence is the gayest person. Mm -hmm. There's just no way. He gets Brotox. (laughs) <laughs> he doesn't want to have, and he doesn't have lunch with women. Yeah, no shit. Because <laughs> you don't no want shit. to. <laughs> yeah. I have something from HBO last week about the problem with young men nowadays. Um, oh, I think I saw this. Y'all want to watch play it? it? Yes. Oh my god. Okay, yeah. so Scott Galloway is like my <laughs> dream zaddy. Just so he everyone is a daddy, knows. Though. All right, here you go. We have. We have a crisis among young men, and it starts at a young age. Young men are twice as likely on a behavior-adjusted basis to be suspended. Seven in 10 high school valedictorians are women. For every one female, for every two female graduates from college in the next five years, you only have one. The scariest stat, walking down the avenue that is America, only one in three men under the age of 30 have had sex in the last year. And you hear sex and your brain fires, but the bottom line is, it's a key step to the elemental foundation of any society, and that is relationships. Men, young men aren't attaching to work, they aren't attaching to women, they aren't attaching to schools. We are producing too many of the most dangerous person in society, and we are losing out on a key. We're not gonna have kids, we're not gonna have a productive society, we're gonna have more violence, and also we're gonna have a society that does not value uh, young men, and they do not. Young men are different, they develop later, and by the way, if you're a young man, this work from home thing is a disaster. They need... Young men, young men, need, young men need guardrails. They need to know how to read a room. They need to put on a clean shirt. They know not to get high or drink too much during the week. Sounds like And then story. get into the off, <laughs> office the next day. We have a crisis among young men. It is, it is, it is, it is one of the most, in my view, one of the most dangerous things in our society. Wait, this, keep going. There's something else that he says that. Um, I think also, was like the Carlos, did you just line. fart? Re- did you just do a little In fart? This equation. No, because oh, I, I thought I love high up. Because, yeah. thank you. Because, 
So I you sometimes you <laughs> you asked about the phone. Simply put, it's a disaster. Whenever technology comes into an industry, it consolidates it. Mating has been consolidated in the worst way. 50 men on Tinder, 50 women. 46 of the women show all of their attention to just four men, leaving 46 men pursuing just four women. If, if mating was a country, it would be more unequal than Venezuela. We have huge mating inequality. And here's the problem. When people don't get together and there's no pheromones and there's no vibe, women, and we don't like to say this on the left, primarily try and make very quick assumptions about this individual's ability to garner resources in the future. So what you have is this concentration of interest and you're ending up with Porsche polygamy where 10% of the men get 90% of the attention, which does not lead to good behavior. Or well, I was the girl behavior. banging the other guys, so <laughs> <laughs> I was doing God's work. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm so, I, I, it, I mean, it's almost like yeah, I already, I didn't need to hear it. I already knew it. Like there are- You feel it. Yeah, you feel it in the culture, especially like being yeah. women on camera and, you know, like sharing our opinions every week. But it it's sad. And I'm like, what do we do? Do we just have to fuck all these losers? Like, how do we get out of this? Dude, I will- I, I've done my fuck quota of losers. <laughs> I'm done, okay? And then everyone gets mad at me for that. All these fuck faces. Like, I think I've been extra charitable to uggos my whole life. I've, 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 I've been a serial uggo tax, fucker. I'm the tax write-off bitch, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking to get a little discount in the future for this. Me too, I thought that I was gonna get some social discount at some point in my life and say, you know what? Maybe the men will be nice to me because I have just fucked uggos my whole life. Turns out that's not the case. No. Wait, you're on to something. I think we should start like a, get a lobbyist and I think we should get tax write-offs or tax rebates for right, fucking yes. sad young men right <laughs> I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do it <laughs> <laughs> this is for what I, we've already done this I is make a lot of money done. no we're <laughs> retro it's like uh retroactively pay yeah, yeah, oh right like I pay retroactively yeah. yeah I just I'm sorry I'm like now I I'm just really in my head about all that stuff I mean it's just I it's not like such hot takes but it's it's it is so scary like women don't have a lack of structure and have lack of sex and even lack of education and are violent in re retaliation. Right, right. Like it's just, it's all bad. And he made such a good point about the working from home thing. Like they need to be in the world and like socialize. And we keep hearing this sometimes on our podcast about this, the not ha having sex. I mean, I, that stat sounded crazy to me of three men under 30 and one has had sex. Is that what he said? Yes. Yeah. Well, imagine too how much COVID made that worse. Yeah. Because if you're not in high school, like seeing people and, and like getting energy in, from people, you're not gonna fuck. Like, yeah. And I, there's just so many different things. I mean, I think that there are still <coughs> so many women in the world that just don't wanna do apps and wanna meet people in the wild. And I think it's so, so many guys that would never dream of approaching a woman and I don't know, there's a lot, a lot going and on. And then some of the ones that do. I think, wait, <laughs> no, let's just say Britney Snow and then broke up, no, with Tyler from selling the Because OC? of the, because no way. of the scandal. Yeah. What? Wait, what happened? Because he, I'm not, no! <laughs> wait, what's it was going happening. on? Are you guys watching this show? Listen, I'm, 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 I don't even happened? know the show, but I know the drama from last week where he was, he like outed one of the other girls for trying to kiss him, trying to make out with him twice off camera. Do you saw that part? Yeah, right? yeah. I've watched the whole, I binged the whole series. But like, she was saying she was getting mixed messages from him. So how is Britney Snow not going to go like, were you giving mixed messages? This is Why would so a girl think they could lean wild. in and kiss a married guy? Wait, they're married? Yeah. So they're married and the sh all the women that th it's, you know, it's all women in this real estate office and then three guys. And so he, they all flirt with him, but he, he flirts back. One of them was hitting on the, him, like propositioning him to sleep with her. And he said, no, and he was like, I'm married. Yeah. It, I mean, they didn't show the actual encounter, but they spoke about it and they, they, they talked about it afterwards. She apologized to him and he was like, you know, I felt uncomfortable. I married this girl, Alex Hall and him are very flirty and she's kind of alluded to having a crush on him and she like gets in his face and like sucks his nose. It's weird. I don't know. I never what? heard of this. And <laughs> That's never... the girl in the middle that. But yes, I and to Kayla, I mean, guys, I'm obsessed with the show. And I binged it, I guess. But it seems like the, I, there had to be like problems before. 
they didn't they there's no way this like show i mean maybe maybe, maybe. i mean if a honestly if a girl sucks dave's nose i'm out that is horrible <laughs> I would rather see him fuck someone else and get his <laughs> nose sucked. That is so intimate. We're it, jealous. And it was like, like, why are you sucking my nose? I have a cute butt. Like nose. they're in like a cuddle pile on the beach. Like, see, I mean, that's the the. Sh- that is weird. It's just not right. Yeah. I mean, I get it, but don't you think that and he would know if his a wife? Embarrassment is- too, though. Like for her, that yeah. people are like messaging her and being like, "Your husband's cheating." Like that sucks. And then there was this weird moment where one of the other guys from the show was like, so you were away for a while. You guys like, you know, fucking to make up for it. He didn't say those words, but that's what I would say. And he he kind of stumbled on and he was like, no, we're not really having sex. Like it was a little weird. And then the other guy just assumed because he like was having some erectile problems and like took it and ran with that. But it was a weird moment. So it does make me think that they were having problems before if he if he got asked if they were having sex. And yeah. He weird and he it. stumbled. Yeah. Yeah. Just to go back to the really scary thing we were just talking about from Scott Galloway, I have I want to give it a positive spin, okay? I think that our show is so clearly we are 50-50 men and women for our listeners. So I think that we are like we're we're starting this to solve the problem yes, right here we're today. Many boy slugs. Oh, I forgot a boy slug I wanted to shout out. Um fuck. What is your name? That hot one, Joey, Carlos Mikey, something. Oh, my see. boy! It was. I, I want to tell you the slugs come through in the moments I need them. I was in Atlantic City with my boyfriend and his friend. His friend's like, "I got to meet this girl at a club. Will you come with me?" I don't want to go to the club, right? But I'm like, "Of course, I'll go along for the party." There's a line. We're going to pay twenty bucks. I'm like, "Uh, Danny." Danny comes up. He goes, "Oh my God, are you Annie Letterman?" Freaks out. Gets me right into the club. Gets us right in. And I was like, I will shout you out, and I forgot. But we went to Kiss Kiss Bang Bang oh, on Danny. Thank fun. you. And if I got your name wrong, sorry. But you're in my heart. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love that you guys have the audience like that. I can't relate. Even my Instagram followers, 97% women. It's like No, horrendous. I would love that too. Not I mean, bad. the girls are amazing too. It's like, I think I started out with so many male followers mm-hmm. because I did like Opie and Anthony back in the day yeah, yeah, and like all the guy things that I did. So to get girls is like a fucking dream. I mean, yeah. it's amazing. Yeah. But it is fun to have both. It's and totally the boys fun. are always like, they're like, I feel like I'm learning to be like a better boyfriend. Yes. And, it's yeah. it's like so heartwarming. Like I hate to give men so much credit, but the men that email us and say like, listen to your podcast to help me change change my relationship yeah. or my the way I view women or sex or whatever. And we don't really get like single guys at our shows. Every once in a while we do, and I will try to fuck them. It's happened like <laughs> once or twice. Um, it's like one of my favorite stories is this guy I fucked after one of our shows. Um, but will you tell us? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. But the, uh, women are bringing their boyfriends more. We mm-hmm. noticed that like post COVID. Yeah. Like for whatever reason. Um, but yeah, this this girl brought her guy friend to our, our show in uh, SD. <laughs> um we brought him up on stage and he and i were really flirty and uh i was like do you want to sh- i was like very into it i was like do you want to connect after the show i was like do you have instagram i was just thinking i would dm him and he was like no i don't and i was like that's so, so hot, hot. <laughs> so or you're married <laughs> i was like when you leave the stage just leave your number with our assistant she sits on the side of the stage yeah. and like controls the show and the like the presentation and everything i was like i feel like a male comedian i feel like this is what they get to do yeah. like leave yeah. your number with my assistant and so we go back down in the green room afterwards and i was like, I want to connect with that guy. He was super hot. He was cool. And we were flirting on stage. And a couple girlfriends who had been at the show come in. And they're like, he's up there. And all of the girls are swarming him. I was like, sluts. Like, yes. uh, like <laughs> how disrespectful. Trail. Trail. You knew he was mine. <laughs> I'm, I'm just kidding. But I was like, the disrespect. I was like, someone just could go get him. So our, like, assistant, actually, she outsourced it to this, like, Live Nation rep. I was like, what is going on here? This is, now I feel like an athlete. Now I feel like, it's, like <laughs> go get the, go get that hot person that was like sitting you know courtside and bring him down here so he she they went and got him and brought him down and uh it was like immediate chemistry we were just like flirting Raina was like taking all these photos I have these cute photos of us like in the green room and we ended up going back to the hotel and uh had like a great sexual experience and then he was in California for the week and we went to LA after we were in San Diego and he drove to LA and it was great. I mean, that was really what it was. It was just a fling. And 
I I got some really good material out of it. Yeah, I did one, but I don't talk about it on stage because I don't. I mean, now I'm in a relationship, but it's like, I I was like. I never wanted to break that seal because I would get guys coming up that would just hover. I'm like, you came to fuck me? Like, you really well, came to my stand-up show. I've been doing this for 13 years, busting my ass, <laughs> got funny as fuck, and you came to fuck me? <laughs> well, there's another guy that was on the same trip. Then we go to San Francisco, and this guy is – I'm not, like, scared. I think he's harmless, but he – DMs me every day, like, oh God. <laughs> and he he's just talking to himself for years. Mm -hmm. He's written love letters that come to our joint email. So, like, Raina's read them. It's so mortifying, you know, and he's just ob obsessed with me. He's just, like, middle-aged little man, you know, and he came to the San Francisco show, and at the very end of the show, I knew he was coming, like I, because he, I don't, I don't remember. I forget why I knew he was coming, and I was like, I just told the venue, like, can you just keep an eye out? Like, yeah. I just, I'm not scared, but I just don't know what he's gonna do, and I couldn't spot him the whole show. And at the end of the show, Ray's were like doing our toast, and all the, the music's going off. He came up to the stage and he dropped this like box on the stage. Oh, <laughs> so and scary! It was this like jewelry box, and. It, I wish I have the photo, but it, it basically had like a room key to his hotel and it said something like, I want to eat your ass tonight. <laughs> he texted you, EA. He can eat it now e -E. We, with what yeah. is going on back there. <laughs> but yeah, so it goes, that was all like in the same week, but it goes both ways. No, the conversations themselves, I turned my DMs off. I can't even, I can't do that. Like it's always on red, but I like see it at the top. Like, I don't, I don't know. I guess I could like block him, but I don't open it I, I don't know yeah it's just like a weird thing i'm just so psyched that you like got that moment where you got to say leave my number with my assistant and you got to seek him out like i've never ever done that i've and i but i've seen so many men do that over yeah. the years so i'm just like so thankful that you did that for all of us it was funny because then she i was like our assistant's name bella i was like text him to make sure it's like I, I, like his number <laughs> she like responds back from the side of the stage she's like it turned green <laughs> and the all audience is like boo <laughs> like booing his android like it was just very funny, so funny. it was his number it was you're like funny. it's a fling guys he can have an android okay <laughs> <laughs> i was like that green tech stick but then you different. can't but then you can't um facetime i hooked up the guy I hooked up with was so hot like i couldn't resist like i had that rule in my head i was like i'm not hooking up with fans order but he was from New Zealand. He was so hot. He was so ripped. Yeah. There's a picture that he sent me on an old phone that's gone. I, I'm in love. I I met my person, but God damn, was that picture impressive. <laughs> I was like, oh you my God. You still have God. it? No, I don't well, know where it is. What was the picture of? It was just him and a towel in like a locker room. He was an um. athlete. It was just, he was one of the hottest guys I have ever seen in my life. But he was like a fan? Yes, he was yeah. a fan. And then he came, I like, talked to I did crowd work with him and then he came like hung out and then I was like he was the one that was like just let me sit on your like or sit on my face please like what if it was like can I sit on your face I'm like no 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 <laughs> like, just let me teabag you come on um teabag before I go but um I had him come to the comedy store and I had like my friends with me and they were like he is precious like you've got to yeah all of us we made fun we stayed friends he was a nice guy one of our like main stories in the podcast that the listeners are so invested in. This was over a year ago now, but for a while they were on this like CIA mission was I did meet this guy crowd working him. I I have the video. It's like on TikTok and Instagram. People love to watch it because you watch it happen in real time of me. Like what, who is this guy? Is he a plant? He's here alone. Yeah. He's single. He's tall. He's drinking a martini. Like what is going on? Yes. And after the show, we met up and we ended up like going to dinner at midnight at Lil Frankie's in New York. Like mm -hmm. we shut the place down. We came back to my house. We were like making out. It was like this epic night. And I was like, this is like, I mean, he's, he was a lot younger, but I was just like, I'm like very much vibing. And I feel like he's really vibing with me. And I know what it feels like to be with somebody. You're like, you're never gonna hear from him again. And I just didn't feel like that and gave him my number. Didn't even think to like get his. I was like, he's probably gonna text me like as soon as he walks out the door, you know, like I'm, this yeah. is it. And never heard from him again. And, and, and I don't know his last name. I had them like, just for my, then everyone was on this mission of like, what? possibly could have happened. I know, it's so like, weird. Like, was he yeah. lying about something? And then I checked the ticket sales from the show and, like, what his what his first name allegedly was. He wasn't on there. And then he had told me that he had come to the show because this comedian 
named Natalie Cuomo. He knew her from college uh -huh. and she it was her show. And then she didn't know him. Like it was wild. It was like yeah. all these Did things. Did you check happened. obituaries? You're like, he must have died. Well, I don't Why even have his not? I don't have his last name. Like yeah. I've never not been able to find somebody. Calling the hospital. Is there a I hot guy a, there? I have a positive. <laughs> <laughs> you have a hot patient. <laughs> he had a nice watch. I have a um, positive take on this. I think leave it because I think what he gave you is such a gift. Because oh, there sure. have been many times where oh, yeah, I'm not I've like had these like for this guy. Yeah. I would like be twelve insane. hour just like Esther would super, find his address somehow and drive by. <laughs> like for instance, like I I had this one one time in Vegas. It's twelve hours, just a small window of time. We, I mean, just the best time I've ever had with a single person. One of those like yeah. It was like a music video, it yeah. felt like, in 12 hours. Yeah. And at the end of it all, I didn't. we didn't exchange numbers. I don't know why. I think he has friends exchanged e I don't know. It was like 12 years ago. And um, if it had ended there, it could have gone down it as it could have just been a fantasy bubble I would occasionally look at or remember and, be, and feel good about. Mm -hmm. But no, I pursued it. I found him three months later. And it turned out he turned out to be one of like the most horrible people. No, but yeah. if I had just left it there, it could have been just this one thing that I just constantly turn to when I'm having like a you know a blue day. Where I'm like, oh yeah, I remember that time that Rihanna song, yeah. staying in the strip club till 10 a.m. together, me sitting on his lap, you know, like all of these things, these memories come flooding, and I could have just not popped the bubble. But yeah, I, I think that's I think about that a lot of just leaving things as this memory like i fucked our driver in greece this summer <gasps> and i just was like this is just needs to it's just one night yeah. yeah you know we're not gonna keep in touch like i have a great bit out of it and it's that's what it was like i think sometimes we have the tendency to be like yeah, but this is be like my romance, like my yeah. mama. Yeah, yeah. We like to kill our own joy. But I also, think. like I have the instinct <laughs> with so Kalila where it's like you kind of just like end it. But then when they pursue, it's kind of hard because you're like he didn't want to pursue. Yeah, Oliver says like, you're like rejecting. I had a I have a insane thing that happened on this podcast where I I had hooked up with this guy on a plane. He like fingered me on an airplane. No, stop. Can it was start at the beginning. It we, we just hit it off. He we, he missed his plane. I was like, on you standby. Met him on the plane. Yeah, he had like a cheek. He was like he looked like Channing Tatum. He was like in like sweat shorts that's my like number one but he had like a he's just the boy could dance you know you could tell and he had like he had like a cheek piercing and he was like in a sugar ray cover band i mean like there was like a lot <laughs> happening you know but <laughs> i was telling the story about it because we had continued talking and then he started sending me all these bondage porns where i was like i'm not gonna get ball gagged by you sir but we kind of stayed friends or whatever and then he finally like blocked me because i started reading his sex on stage Oh. And I guess I heard his feelings, but the sex was, it was too good. I read it on here before. A hundred percent. It was too good. And, and then, so I was like, Carlos, like pull up a picture of him. Cause there's all these like shirtless pictures of him looking so hot from a stupid band. And then Carlos goes, he died last week. No, no. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, we I found, found he died out on camera. On this show, we found out he died. <laughs> My finger bang guy died. And then I chose this to not go. This is unreal. I don't know how he died. And I chose to not go. I'm assuming probably fentanyl has how everyone's dying. For sure, for sure. But I like chose to not go to the memorial service because he blocked me. I wanted to I wanted to respect his boundary. <laughs> <laughs> but it's killing me. I want to know what it was. Even post-mortem. That is wild. Is that crazy? Yeah. How did, like, you ended up sitting next to him on the plane? Yeah. Well, we like, we, we had to walk to a new plane because he had missed his plane and I was on standby and I didn't get on. Yeah. So then we like walked to the second plane and like hung out and stuff. And he went up. Then when I knew it was going to happen is he took both of our licenses and went, we're together. And I went, I was like, stopping what? Okay. And he sat next to me, smelled good. He like got up to go to the bathroom. His, his like shirt came up, he like perfect body. Was it just, was there a third person in the row? Yeah, there was some Israeli kid that was kind of just... Did you guys start making out? Sorry, I'm very intrigued yes, by we like were being fingered out. on an airplane. Have you well, there was the blanket. Or, okay. It wasn't like he didn't get up too much, you know. But it was yeah. like it was like a. To him, it was, it was like. It, to him, it was like the beginning, and to me, I was like, "This is going to be a great story." Yeah. And then baggage claim. He was pulling me close. I was like, "No, no, no." <laughs> no, no. I think that if someone blocks you, 
that when they pass away that that expires and that you're allowed to do whatever you want. I'll have to like check with his his friends. He was like he was like a, he was a nice guy. He was really into bondage. Maybe he fucking choked himself to death. Oh my god. Mm. Asphyxiated. <laughs> yeah. That would be so crazy if you went to a funeral and someone's friends had to be like you he wouldn't want you here. Well, I always think like <laughs> I That will happen to me one day. I am not <laughs> That's suicidal. my goal. I am not suicidal and I will never it will never happen, but I was saying like I think one of the like you do want to leave that mystery of like maybe you were I was jerking off. That's the that's the <laughs> suicide. Yeah. <laughs> I was about to come. We want to hit any of these one more. What's the leaving phone and car full of guys? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And what's the it men was versus a women TikTok, TikTok we got sent a while ago. Um these girls leave their phone in the car with a bunch of guys just to see what they say about them. Oh. Oh, oh my god, that gives me anxiety. I'm yeah, not interested in that. Yeah. I mean, like for myself, I, we can watch the thing. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, my feelings are already hurt. It's just yeah. not my business what you say behind my back. Yeah. That's why the internet's so annoying. It's like, why are you saying it in front of my back? I yeah. know. <laughs> why are you saying it to my tits, okay? <laughs> on tiktok this girl was like you want to know what we used to do with our guy friends in high school if it was like a car full of people the girls would be in the back seat they'd be chatting the guys would drop them off and one of the girls would leave her phone in the car recording and then about five minutes later they would text the boys and say you need to turn around one of us forgot our phones and so then the girls would grab the phone the big thing and then they'd go listen to everything the guys would say after they dropped them off but they go don't do this unless you want your feelings completely hurt how up is that oh i was gonna say it's kind of genius i honestly right when i saw that i was like how can i do this by myself without friends <laughs> i used to i was like i want to do this so bad You're like mm. Yeah, that would hurt my feelings. I mean, hopefully not my own partner. But if you're like the hottest girl in school, it's probably going to be positive, but it's probably going to be like vulgar too. But unfortunately, it's the wrong friend's phone. Yeah. They're like, Susan's so hot. Stacy's a fucking pig. It's weird they're <laughs> friends. <laughs> yeah. Esther Ives, you look mad. I'm like, because I can't, I'm trying to think of a use for it in my life but I can't think of one. And I'm kind of surprised. But I know there's one. Like, I'm like, do I do it to my parents? Oh my God, uh, yes. Like, parents, who do yes. I do well, I think, I, like, honestly, edit it out to the point that's how much I want you to do your parents. <laughs> I don't want them to know. <laughs> oh my God. But make sure before you leave the leave your phone recording that you cause some type of issue. Yeah. Uh, you know, you can't leave try. peacefully and they're going to be like, oh, she's changed. She's so sweet these days. You know, you have to cause like a stir. I that will happen organically for <laughs> sure. Um, Ashley, thank you so much for oh, yeah. awesome. thanks for having me. Coming yeah. and being so fun. a part of Bonnie this. McFarland says hi. I was just talking to her this morning. Oh, Sorry. I love her. Yeah, yeah this is so That's fun. And I hope everyone goes and listens to your hugely, widely, crazily popular, successful podcast, Girls Gotta Eat. Thanks. And anywhere else people should be looking for you? Yeah, g girls got to eat. And we also have a sex toy company with a paired app called Vibes Only. So you can check all that out at vibesonly.com and download the app for Android and iPhone and shop the toys at Vibes Only. And on all social media, I am Ash Hess. Yeah, here's our Instagram <laughs> for Vibes Only. So we just introduced a new blowjob gel in vanilla flavor. What does it do? Um, it's just good to give a blowjob with. Like, it makes it taste good. We have a mango and a vanilla frosting, and people, like, love it. They're do just the giving these. Do the ice cream these, cone? Yeah, like, like around the edge. <laughs> um, and we have a great lube, and then we have three toys. We have more coming out uh, for the holidays. And then you compare it with an app that's erotic content. So it, like, pairs via Bluetooth and then it pulses oh. along with the stories. Oh. Like, like the story starts out kind of slow and it's That's like, did you guys create that? Mm -hmm. That's it's awesome. Like taking over our lives. But yeah, it's we're, That's we're really so proud of it. Cool. Um oh. so it's it's been fun. Okay, one question just because I'm seeing the picture. What do you guys think of Chris Pine's uh blonde bob? I don't <laughs> it's like feminine and kind of a hot way. So I did, he he looks like a baby girl. A power lesbian. Like I <laughs> But I'm like I am attracted to it. I'm into it. I'm so into it. Like I didn't know he looked like that now. <laughs> I can't keep up with all the Chris's. <laughs> um, I think he's a great actor. Yeah. I'll leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs>
That's not going to hurt his feelings. We know. But I like when he's like the zaddy look. <laughs> yeah. Is yeah, that? I do too. No, I do look, like how look, it's like. Look, look at when he has the the full um, <gasps> gray beard, gray beard, gray hair. That's super hot. That, it, that's scary, actually. Oh. What, is, what is your guy's favorite, Chris? He's skinny. Of all the Chris's? Well, what's, what was that? Was it Pine, Evans? How, how Evans does nothing for me. I'm the same way. And they were all like, he's single. And I was like, I'm not interested. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I pretended to be, but deep down. <laughs> I feel like he's out I, there. I don't think I would. Wait, who are the other Chris's? Pine. Um, Hemsworth. Hemsworth. Pratt. Oh, and Pratt. Pratt's Christian. Sorry. It's too much. It's yeah, too but much. his body, that thick boy body is what I like. Yeah. I do like a guy who worked <laughs> out. And I like love his look. Gained fat like over the workout body. body. Right. Gained fat over the workout body is the best. Yeah, where it's um, like you I, used to have dreams he's too wholesome for me i just really now that i saw the chris pine looking like a yeah i do like baby girl chris i liked him looking so annoyed yeah yes. like during those uh -huh. interviews like 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 when harry styles was talking he just i liked his vibe right agreed I, mean, I think we all like Chris Pine, but a different version of Chris Pine. I, look, I like your striped shirt, striped shirt, with bottom right. No, no, what, no, that, no. That's a little. Was, that makes me not like him. Was this for forever. all? No, that's what he looks like when he's just hanging. No, okay, that makes that? me be done with him for good. Actors I don't know are what weird. to say. I'm over it. Actors I, are weird, guys. That looked like the teacher that molested me. Literally, that's that's what molested <laughs> me. Except that it was full dreads. <laughs> Do you see why I'm upset? Okay. It wasn't it even you the guys, jizzing. Take it down. We shouldn't have gone here. <laughs> you guys, thank you so much. We will see you next week for an all new episode of Trash Tuesday. We all can't wait to check out everything that Ashley has to offer. Yes. <laughs>